What's up YouTube? This is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called Reminisc. Now what Reminisc allows you to do is actually swipe from the right or the left side of the screen depending on your settings and it opens up an app switcher for the last five most recent apps that you've been in. And you can do this on the springboard, in applications, and even on the lock screen. So if we go ahead and do that, you can see these are the five most recent applications that I've been in and we can open those up just by hovering over them and letting go and it opens up just like that so it's actually pretty awesome and it works really fluidly so it's really cool let's go into the settings here and I'll show you everything that you can do so here we are in the reminisce settings you have the animations the behavior appearance and the about so if we go into the animations here you can actually change the animation right now we have a flat animation now this is the flat animation style so when I slide over you can see that that little bar actually slides over to the left just like that and that's what the side animation style is so if we change that to up it's going to slide up just like that down will slide down and split is going to split it right in the middle so if we go back there's actually one more animation style that you can have and that's push which is actually my favorite so I'm gonna be leaving that one on but if we slide from the right you can see that it pushes that apart from top to bottom so it's actually pretty cool also you have the icon and label animation right here and there's actually only only grow is the only thing that you can change it to you can turn it off if you want to but hopefully there'll be some more that will be added in an update or something like that so if we slide over it you can see that the grow is actually just the application getting bigger when your finger hovers over it so that's what grow does and I'm gonna leave that on let's go back to behavior and you can see you have a kill switch right here and you will have to respring for this to take effect and you have a swipe side so right-handed means you're swiping from the right left-handed means you're swiping from the left now there is a little funkiness to this if you change it to left-handed you actually can't change it right away you actually have to swipe from the right one more time and then you can swipe from the left so that's a little bit of a uh, funkiness there I mean I don't really I was having some issues with it and I was wondering what was going on until I figured out this is what you had to do so if we change it back to right I'll show you one more time you actually can't swipe from the right until you swipe from the left one more time so just keep that in mind if you do end up changing the swipe side also you have an up down swipe to open and if we enable that you can see that if we swipe down it opens up the reminisce tweak right there and if we swipe up it opens up the reminisce tweak so you can't just swipe down and then tap on an application you do have to drag your finger still just like that but it's also I mean that's a really cool feature that it has right there so you can actually disable applications if you want to do that as well so if we wanted to disable the app store then that would mean if we opened up well let's go to the springboard here and we'll open up the app store this means that the Reminisce tweak is not going to work in the App Store. So you can see here that it's not working at all. So let's just go back to the settings here. Turn that off and go to Activator Only right here. This activates uh, Reminisce purely via Activator Actions. And please note that this will lose the fluidity that was designed for it, but will provide for better compatibility with tweaks such as Zephyr and MiniPlayer. So I mean, if you want to do that, you can. If you use Zephyr a lot, then it's going to be a, going to be conflicting unless you turn this on. So definitely do that if you have Zephyr. Now here's the appearance. You can blur the outside, which I do. I do like that feature. So if we slide over, you can see that it blurs the outside. It also dims it because I have the dim. So if we turn that off, it doesn't dim. It just blurs. But I like the dim and the blur to be on. Now you have the icon fade as well just like that everything is faded except for the icon that you're hovering over and you have label fade but you do have to have the app labels enabled for label fade to work so if we tap that on you actually can't see the app labels because you have to respring in order for it to work so I'll show you that in just a second but let's go to the background to begin with so background is just that linen that you get on your uh, notification center but you can change that so if we wanted to change it to color you can change the top color so let's just slide over here let's change it to a red and save it and change the bottom color to I don't let's just do black save and you can see that it actually fades those two from top to bottom kinda like a gradient style thing and it gives you a different look so you can actually depending on your theme you can make this actually match your theme which is really nice 
So let me go ahead and turn on the app labels. We'll put it on the bottom and icon fade. We'll turn it off to begin with and I'll respring my device and we'll go from there so I can show you what the app labels look like. All right, so now I'm resprung. Let's go slide open. You can see that you have those app labels right there. So let's go back to the settings and we'll turn on the uh, app label fade. And you can see, whoops, what it actually does. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. I personally think it's probably one of the best tweaks out there right now, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.